hello I, i'm much paid maybe next time eh? hello oh i'm sorry praise god hallelujah i didn't know that people were watching me i didn't know that the holy angels were just watching me i even didn't know that the holy spirit was very present most times we human beings we are found in entangled with many things you are having issues at bank you're having issues at home you're having issues at work you're having issues with your marriage you're having issues with the uh, the businesses you're carrying you, challenges are like challenges problems are like problems things are inter intimidating you you're having many voices you are carrying this you are having this conversation conversation you are drinking this you are occupied you are taken you are overdriven you don't have anything with you you are like drying up praise be the lord jesus but i want to tell you that we have got good news are you disturbed are you interrupted? Are you taken by many things? You have to sit on the computer. There is a report you have to make. Calls, they are coming. You also have to go to, to friends and you drink something. You are, you are talking this one, doing this. You, you are looking for money. Many things are coming on your wallet. You don't know. We have good news. Let us check in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, 2, and 3. It reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the masses of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind, that you may be proof, but you may you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Praise be the Lord Jesus. This is the time to give your body as a living sacrifice. Let God, let God change it and make it acceptable service so that whenever you come to God, He will see you as a vessel. He will see you as His servant. Try to cut, to cut off yourself from those things that are taking your minds, like things at work, things at, in, in marriage, things at home, you just cut them off. Just focus to God, speak to God, God will speak to the situations. Speak to God, God will speak to your marriage. Speak to God, God will speak with your work. Speak to God, God will speak to, you, to your businesses. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Speak to God, God will cut you off from boozing. We will cut you off from those funny friends. We will cut you off from problems of rent and what. My dear brother and sister, I want to encourage you today. The only way is to be transformed by renewing of your spirit so that it can be accepted before God. Don't be trans conformed by this as the last. The as the last will take you, will just eat you when you are alive. Don't allow as the last to take you. Things like fornication, witch doctors, boozing, clubbing, Mm, mongering, doing things that are not of God, but rather be in sober mind, be alert, be reasonable enough, do things according to, the God, to God's will, pray, fast, believe in the Lord, wait upon the Lord, uh, fellowship with others, praise Him, bring your case to Him, tell Him your stories, He will help you, He will rescue you, He will guide you until you reach your destiny, until you prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you today, don't lose hope. Don't turn on right or on left. Just focus to God. Cut off all these things that are confusing you because God is always seeing you. God is always watching you. May the good God bless you as you go whole to God, as you had you, you give your heart to God as you submit to God and tell him, God, now I'm here with my body. I bring it to you as a living sacrifice. Accept it so that I can do your service in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. We have been sons of Sunday International. Praise be the Lord. Amen.